Okay, so now that we have a create form, let's handle um, what happens when we submit the form in the store um, controller method here. Okay, so um, we know that we can um, get access to the form values using the request variable here. So we can do a var dump of um, request all. So what that means is that we want to get all the properties in the request. So let's save that, go back to our form. So let's enter something here. Let's say post one and uh, body, say somebody for the post and then we we'll submit that, all right? So as you can see, we're var dumping everything inside the request. So there's a token here for security reasons and um, there's title and then there's the body which we entered but that's not what we want normally when we submit the post we want to um, enter it into the database so let's do that so how we do that is we get the data in the post that we um, require so we say data equals to request so we only get the values that we need for security reasons never do request all basically if someone um, submits a field that your application does not need it can pose some security threats or could crash your application so only select what you know that you want to receive so what we're going to do is we're going to say only the title and the body okay so that is in data so next what we're going to do is we're going to say post that is the post model and then we're going to create um, a new post model um, row using the data that we have gathered from the form but since we do not have a post model let's create one so let's go to our terminal here so we're going to say php artisan make post make model that is and then we're going to say post so what i'll do is we will create a new post model inside of our application here so inside app we have a new post model here and um, what we want to do is we want to make sure that um, some properties are fillable we're going to create a new protected property which is called fillable and laravel provides this for you and um, what this does is it just specifies which properties you want to be able to enter into the database any properties not here if you want to um, enter them in the database whilst creating your model it would crash your application or throw up an error and that is intentionally done so we want to be able to enter the title and the body so we'll save that go back into our controller so as you can see what we're doing here is that we're creating a new post so when we do that it's going to return us a new post instance so after um, we've created a new post we want to return um, to the actually let's not return let's just um, query all the posts in the database and then we spit it out okay so now we're going to say post equals to post all and we are going to return all the post okay so um, let's just import this post here at the top of our application we we'll say use app backslash post so that's going to import this post model here all right so let's save that go to our application so i'm going to submit if everything works fine we should get all the posts in the database so as you can see it did a query and these are the posts with the new id and the created at and updated at property let's go back and create another post post to somebody for the post to submit as you can see that has been created as well in our application so let's go to our database and in the post um, table here we look at the contents as you can see we have a uh, post one and post two okay guys so um that brings us to the end of this video um in this video we learn how to create new posts and um, in the next video we're going to see how we can get access to all the posts and list them in a table form for our application and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye